Did you know that over 95% of New Year's resolutions are broken before January 15th? That's crazy, right? So here's what you should do instead. Between now and then, wait till you're in a high, high point. I'm not talking about when you're spiraling in shame, guilt, or you, know, you don't feel good. It's when you're feeling excited, you're feeling like you're winning in life, you're feeling happy, and you're feeling elevated. In that space, make decisions that when you do them, there is no going back. You're gonna have to follow through on your resolution. So for example, let's say one of your solutions is like, you know what, I wanna be in a better shape of my life in the new year. Then the decisions that you're gonna make is like, all right, I'm gonna hire a trainer. Or it could be, you know, I'm gonna tell three or four or five people my goals so they can hold me accountable. I'm gonna announce it to the world. And what's gonna end up happening is you're gonna set all these different things and one of them or two or three are gonna hold you accountable and kind of pull you towards your goals whenever you don't feel motivated. And sometimes it might just be a promise to yourself or a promise to a loved one. But whatever works for you in a high space, in a high state, you know, do as many as you can. And what's gonna end up happening is you're not gonna rely on motivation to get you through there. You've set the conditions around you where what you want becomes inevitable.